Dell Web has been building active adult communities since the late 1950s and early 60s. They are still at it. Quite honestly, they're pretty much the industry standard. Arizona and Florida have been their biggest beneficiaries. I mean, around the Tampa Bay area alone, there's got to be seven or eight Dell Web developments. Places like Bexley and Stone Creek, Bayview, they're the newest and most expensive. Homes there are going to start at about $400,000 $450,000 and head up to the $700,000 range pretty darn quick. So what happens if you don't want to cough up a half a million dollars? There is a place for you and it is a Dell Web development. Let's go take a look at it. Welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Mike LaVoy. Today I'm going to go over a Dell Web community complete with all of the amenities of any Dell Web community out there. It's just a little bit more affordable. About 20 miles south of Tampa in Apollo Beach is Dell Webb's South Shore Falls. The region around the Apollo Beach has grown rapidly over the last three or four years, just pretty much just like the rest of Florida, but it still retains that small town feel. Apollo Beach is probably 10 or 15 minutes from some major shopping centers over in Brandon. Retail stores, fine dining, restaurants, golf courses all over the place, and some of the best medical facilities in the country. 20 minutes or so down the road is downtown Tampa with all the museums you're ever going to want. Shopping, entertainment, and the Tampa International Airport. If you're interested in canoeing, paddleboarding, or boating, Apollo Beach is pretty much the center of the universe for that stuff. There are several parks and preserves, rivers, canals, all over the area. If you're looking for white sandy beaches that the Gulf Coast is known for around the world, you're going to have a problem. Apollo Beach is kind of a misnomer. There is no beach in Apollo Beach. There is kind of. What's over there is a strip of land that's a bunch of sand about 200 yards long. And instead of looking out onto the beautiful blue waters of the Gulf of Mexico, your view is of the Hillsborough Bay and Tampa Electric's power plant way off in the distance. I may be a little critical, but it is not a destination beach like some of the others in the area. Apollo Beach is best known for its fishing and boating, not its swimming. If you're a boater or a fisherman, you're going to love Apollo Beach. There are plenty of slips and facilities to handle your boat. Wide open waterways, I mean, there's Tampa Bay and the Gulf of Mexico. There are several restaurants that you can boat right up to, like Circles Waterfront, or Finn's Dockside Bar and Grill. Both are very great places to eat. The area has direct access to the Gulf of Mexico right down the Tampa Bay and under the Skyway Bridge for some deep sea fishing or sailing the blue water. To get to a beach, you're going to have to drive about a, you know, probably a solid 45 minutes over to Holmes Beach in Bradenton or to St. Pete Beach. South Shore Falls is a fully built out development and of about 860 or so homes, which means there is no new construction going on. If you ever live through an active construction zone, it's not that bad a thing. There's nothing quite like being woken up at the crack of dawn to the sound of roofing being nailed down with an air hammer. Centex was the original builder starting construction in 2005. 2009, Dell Webb's parent company, Pulte Homes, purchased Centex and completed construction around the middle of 2011. Home styles in South Shore Falls include villas and single family homes. About two thirds of those homes are villas, the rest are going to be single family. There are three models of villas in a duplex configuration that range from about 1300 square feet to close just over 1600 square feet. There are two models of attached villas arranged in quads, which are run between 1400 and back up to about the 1600 square feet. Most of them have two bedrooms, two baths, a two car garage, and a screen lanai. Prices for the villas are going to be in the low to mid $300,000 range, which is very affordable. 
The single family homes range in size from about 1,700 to 2,500 square feet. They are three bedroom, two bath homes with a two car garage. Priced in the mid $400 range, they are also very affordable. Especially when you compare them to one of Del Webb's new construction homes over in Bexley or Bayview. Residents here get to enjoy a 14,000 square foot state of the art clubhouse and amenity center called the Wellspring Club. Wellspring Club features a magnificent lagoon style pool with a beach entry. It also has an entry, uh, resistance pool. There are tennis courts, bocce ball and pickleball courts, shuffleball courts. For your furry members of the family, there are dog parks and walking trails. There is a secondary amenity center with some bocce ball and pickleball courts, as well as a lap pool. Inside Wellspring, you're going to find a fitness center, an internet cafe, a ballroom, card rooms, and billiard tables. An on-site activities director is continually planning things like yoga classes and neighborhood barbecues, poker tournaments, bridge games, scrapbooking. Events designed around an active, uh, the active adults living there in South Shore Falls. Like most neighborhoods in the world, South Shore Falls has an HOA and an HOA fee. That HOA fee is pretty low, it's about $300 a month. For that $300, you have a maintenance-free lifestyle. There's no more mowing the yard or trimming the plants or painting the house. You're retired. Why would you want to mow the yard? I mean, I'd rather be playing golf. The HOA fee includes a 24-7 guarded entrance, security in the neighborhood, basic cable TV, and internet access. So from the $300 HOA fee, take, I don't know, 100 bucks a month for mowing the yard. That's what I pay. 80 bucks a month for internet and cable gives you $120 left. The remaining $120 pays for the maintenance on the 14,000 square foot clubhouse, the pool, and the rest of the amenities. Compared to other communities, that's a steal. While we're talking about fees, let's talk about CDD fees. South Shore Falls does not have a CDD fee. If you don't know what a CDD fee is, I have a video on that. Watch it later. If you'd like to talk about Apollo Beach, real estate in general, give me a call. I can be reached at 813-864-6370, voice or text. If you haven't already done it, please take a couple seconds, subscribe to our channel, and if you like this video, click that little like button too. If you have an idea for a video about real estate in the Tampa Bay area, down below in the comments section is a link to submit your request, and yes, we do take requests, but you don't want to hear me sing. Thanks for watching the video. Go out and make it a great day.